Hello and welcome back to Resident Evil Revelations. We're on episode 3 and we are going on to Barry's part. So let's start. I'm Megzy and uh, welcome back everyone. There's not many parts left so there's only one episode after this so we've got to do Barry's part of this episode and then we do Claire and Barry's part of the next. Previously on Revelations 2. Oh, 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 my life is awesome. That stuck a needle in me? forgotten about that. <laughs> I think Barry's monsters are scarier than the ones in Claire's campaign. Because, I mean, you get invisible monsters, the monsters are a lot harder to kill as well, so. Okay, episode three, Judgment, and this is uh, Barry's part, so let's continue! Woohoo! With the strongest of lights, one is able to dispel the world. Franz Kafka. I think that's how you say it. God, the baby doll things, what? <sighs> Headless baby dolls. Smile looked evil. I don't trust Natalia. Although the game makes out like she has nothing to do with it, I still feel like she does, but oh, I'm so confused about the whole thing. You know, if you want to explain it to me in the comments section, I never really got 
got it. The whole Alex Weston Natalia thing. So. It was Alex Wesker. She's responsible for the experiment six months ago. They called her the Overseer. She took Moira away from me. And now I'll never get... And all for fucking what? I'm sorry. No swearing, okay. little girls. She said she was going to be reborn. Reborn how? With a virus? Why did she need my little girl? Doesn't make any sense. I'm sorry. I can't remember anything else. <laughs> oh, sweetie, I'm sorry. It's my problem, not yours. Just take it easy. Okay. So, yeah, if you want to explain the whole Alex Wesker and Natalia mm -hmm. changing thing. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm. I was just thinking about how I used to go for walks like this with Moira and Polly. Were you a good family? <laughs> we tried to be. Moira and I fought a lot. Even after she grew up. Was it because she used bad words? <laughs> no. She just did that to tick me off. I'm the one that drove us apart. I messed up real bad as a father. She and Polly were playing in the house. I forgot to lock up my guns. And why rush? Polly had an accident. Was it Moira's fault? No. It was mine. But I raised my voice at her and... I guess I never really got around to taking the blame. Polly survived, thank God. But now me and Moira, we started drifting apart. Oh. I think she still loved you. I appreciate you saying that. I'll tell you this much. I couldn't save her, but I'm gonna save you. I promise I'll get you off this island. I know. Thanks, Barry. <sighs> it's okay. I can walk now. You go. <clears throat> oh gosh. Whoops. Keep doing that. <laughs> I just keep I just need to move the chair forward a little bit. Just needed to move the chair forward a little bit. That's much more comfy. Got my headset on now as well, so that's nice. I hear you. Don't think I do. Do we need to? Guess not. This way. Hey, wasn't there water in here when we came here as Claire? With Clara and Moira? I'm sure there was water in here. What's in here? Ooh. And I swear that was open as well. How are we gonna get back to the surface? Getting back to the surface, sir. Oh, that's much more comfy. I found a much. Oh, God. Oh, God, I don't have anything. Oh. Back up. We're not any safer down here. You okay? Yeah. Are you? I'm alright. What is Barry like? Late 40s? Early late 50s? How old is he supposed to be now? Oh god. He was quite old in the um, 
first one to start off with, and you know, it's been a long time since then, so... I don't know.
Hmm, I don't know. That's super weird. But there must be a way up there to get the cool shit, right? So, why was it? There. find a way. Good question. I guess we don't. <laughs> Just looking for the hidden room now, like, no big deal. I don't think we're gonna get up there. I have to give up all my dreams. <laughs> Never give up on your dreams. <laughs> in video games, it's okay, but in real, real life, don't, don't give up. Not good. Maybe I can get up here. No? 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 Oh, okay. Oh. That's all, that was one there actually so I didn't just run into it that would not have been good <gasps> oh we got that already but hey what else uh oh dead old man I'm going this way first old man take some smoke powder can I have some bottles? Considering you've taken them all. Just give me four. That'll do for now. <laughs> oh. You see? Poor old yeah. man. Leave him be. Poor man. He died all alone. So how did she leave her phone in here? Second of all, when did she have the time to record that message? Third of all, why would she leave her phone here? How did she leave her phone here? Why did she leave her phone here? And um, why did she record that message and when? Let's get out of here first. Yeah. Stay close, okay? I will. It doesn't make a lot of sense there. We couldn't get in this room, house. So how the hell did Mori leave her phone? Unless she went back, like, afterwards. Maybe this is, this is supposed to be a lot after what happened with Claire and Moira. So we're supposed to be about six months behind them, right? So maybe a lot of stuff has happened to them since then. And maybe it'll all just get to the right date in the end. Oh, I don't know. It's a bit confusing, this game. <clears throat> Old Man's Journal, 19th to 7th, 1988. I need practice my English, so I write in this journal on every day. Every day I write, but have no words. Now I have good reason. Today I welcome first child to the world. Her mother gave her the name Irina. It was my grandmother's name. I object, but I cannot win against that woman. She has eyes and nose of her father, but mouth of her mother. We will raise her to be healthy, strong girl. This year I learned to have good spirits again. Mining business goes well. 
My life is pretty good for me now. I want to give Irene the same feeling when she is older. It's my responsibility now, as parent. <laughs> 1997-1994 Irina already six years old. How flies time. She loves to imitate her mother. Her mother hates it, probably because imitation is perfect. Little Kroshka is very smart. She likes math. Her grandmother liked much math too. Irina's smile helps to take mind off worries. The mines have become dangerous, and now they take, make no money. Island condition is versta and versta. I might have lost job too. But this is no time for a worry. This island is our home. I want to give it to little Kroshka in good condition. It's my responsibility now, as parents. 1957-2000. Irene now 12 years old. Already rebellious. More like mother every day. I don't understand women. Now I am embarrassed to her. Until she needs money at her request. <laughs> yeah, isn't that the way? <laughs> Speaking of women and money, a woman comes to our island for five boys and girls. She promises to bring back industry. I have a job now to help build a new facility in the mine. I thought mine was finished, but she has a use for it. She is loved by all. They call her savior, a benefactor. My mother always said never trust people with money. The poor worker is more reliable than a rich capitalist. It's good advice, but the rich woman is helping us. 19th the 7th, 2008. It is Irina's 20 years birthday. I should be celebrating, but I'm worried. Next week she will go work in mines. I was against it, but Kroshka will not listen to me. Has not listened for years. Why stop now? Irina is stubborn, just like her father she used to always say. I guess she was right. Has it already been a year since you left us, my darling? I don't trust the people in the facility. There's something wrong about them. But everyone else thinks me stubborn old man. Maybe now Irina too. But I know I'm right. I just hope Irina will realize this too soon. 19 to 7, 2009. I have not seen Irina in almost one year. Something bad is happening to her home. People become sick. Most things I cannot explain. I know it is all because of that woman. She smells of evil. This has to become Irina's home. This was to become Irina's home. But too late now. I leave this town. Everything. Sorry, just ruin it. <laughs> but the island is my home. I will not leave. No place to go. So I go to Sewers. I stay here. Things will get first, I know it. Irina, be safe. I will find you. I promise, Kurska. You are all your father has left. Oh, poor old man. And now he's dead. So we'll never get to read out of her daughter, but his daughter. But she's probably dead anyway, so maybe you'll see her wherever you go. Megan. Yeah? Walk down, see you later. Love you, bye. bye. Anyway, <laughs> let's continue. She's like, Mom, for a meal. I'm like, bye, Mom. <laughs> this is the right way. Yeah, because we just unlocked the door. Duh. <laughs> okay, this way. Oh, it just froze for a second there. Oh, a little jumpy. But it's okay, we can cope. So, how lovely. Jump a dead end. Looks like we can open the sluice from higher up. Okay, I see what she's gotta go through. Are you dead? There's something ahead. Be careful. He's dead. Footprints. See, this is those blue footprints I was talking about. To show you where to go. Yeah, and once there's Moira in that little scene, and only uh, a lot of times there's Natalia. Natalia, can you open the sluice from that side? Okay, hang on! Can I open it? Yeah, I can, okay. Ugh. I'm really worried she's gonna get attacked while I'm doing this. Can't switch to Barry while I'm doing this. She won't keep doing it, so. But at least I don't think she will. I wonder. Oh, she will. Oh no, she won't. See, she's done. 
Darn, I think it dropped all the way back down as well. Natalia, 